Hi my friends, this is a game that makes you want to learn how to play Roy Lopez. This is a game between Alirza Ferrucia and uh, Richard Rapport. Two very aggressive players, both of them are just crazy. It's Roy Lopez and Alirza avoids Berlin by playing D3 and expands the you know, pawns and pieces forward. The game already starts in opening, sounds very calm and standard Roy Lopez, right? But it's not like that. Uh, soon the game goes very wild. So Alirzo moves a slice of it with the king because he wants to push f4. On the other hand, Richard Rapport wants to push b5 and something like that. And so he moves the bishop to c4, c5. And each of them performs his plan, their plan, and. Uh, Richard is happy to kicking Alirza's pieces back, but Alirza says, I don't go anywhere, I'm here. Takes a pawn, takes back, nothing happened, then sack the piece, but okay, it's a temporary piece sack. In actual fact, it's a pawn sack. After takes, takes, takes back, Alirza is down a pawn. But what is the compensation, bishop pair? And black king is in the center. But black king can go castle soon, right? So it stopped castling king. Now we should save the queen. It saves the queen and Alirza plays queen f2. Very sneaky move. Very sneaky move. Here, what do you think? The report plays actually bishop uh, e6. But uh, do you castle? Not really because then you, know, you lose the bishop actually. And this is why he played. And this move after this uh, takes takes and then queen goes there and this bishop is gone. Therefore, <clears throat> report first saves the bishop, but then it's too late, right? Alirza kicks the queen and then a stops black from castling. Perfect, perfect timing. Now white is down two pawns, but black cannot castle anytime soon. So, white continues harassing black's queen. And, and the problem uh, at this position, uh, the problem for both of them uh, is uh, time, actually. Both of them are very low on time. And m much bigger problem for black is that black is clearly in defensive uh, side. And it's very difficult to not make any mistake. And so far was good, uh, and then the report plays innocent looking move of uh, bishop and c5 attacking the rook, right? But then this rook comes to the attack itself and as a, it starts to make a lot of noise. So, uh, Alirza retreats the uh, uh, queen, and this is beautiful because you cannot take that rook because after you take, takes and uh, the plan of Alirza right now is to go rook e1 and then deliver mate. Uh, I don't know what do you want to do. For example, if you want to stop this uh, rook e1, we take. But if you allow us to go rook e1, for example, if you say that, okay, I don't want to let you to take that pawn. Because if we take that pawn, it's the end of the day, right? I just want to show you one move after this. I don't know what do you do. Do you save this rook? Then it's the end of the day. So if uh, if uh, no, doesn't allow to go there, for example, push the pawn, then this is a nice match. Uh, Black has to uh, defend it uh, this way, this crazy way. Otherwise, it's mate. Even this is a mate because uh, what can you do? You should go somewhere with a king, right? Then this is a mate. So that rook is not possible to be captured by black. And it's very difficult. In time scramble, you should figure out all these nasty tricks. Alir is a set up. Retreats the knight, says that, okay, I want to finally castle. Says, okay, no, don't go anywhere. I love you. And uh, same scenario, bishop cannot capture that rook. Finally, moves the rook because here the queen is blocking the pass. And uh, cements the bishop there. There is no way to kick that bishop anytime soon. 
uh, you don't want to exchange coins you are down two pounds right you just uh, or, or uh, you just want to keep the coins on the board and stop the pawn from pushing forward uh, here is uh, time is, uh, is again time scramble like five minutes each five six minutes each but Alirizo has a very clear pass. Attack to the base of pawns and win them and wait for mistake of black. So Alirizo starts to run the plant, attacking to the base of pawns with the bishop. And uh, Richard, of course, wants to exchange queens as soon as possible. But Alirizo says that, okay, let me, I'm a pawn grabber, let me grab my pawns. And at this position, Richard Rapport had like one minute on the clock. He grabs that pawn and uh, reach the uh, time uh, uh, control against another one hour earlier the first attacks the queen and then at the end grabs that knight and here at this position richard rapport that after singing a lot finally resigns and earlier is wins this beautiful game let me know your opinion in the comments bye